What's up YouTube? Nitsy Costa 4 and so on. coming at you another video. Today is a very good day. I got a bunch of packages in. Some of the items that are in this video I already I, I got a couple days ago or a week ago, but I got two really big packages in the mail today. If you follow me on my Snapchat, you would see the size of the box and a little preview of this. But as you could tell from the title, we have a massive, insane camera gear haul. Really, really really expensive a lot of money and so i've gotten some gear but without wasting no more time let's get straight into this haul so the first item in this haul is actually the monitor that i'm recording with so i'm not going to take it off the camera but i have the box that it does come with here's a close-up on the box i'm using the sony clm v55 so this monitor came out a couple years back if you don't already know i am recording with the sony nex6 i've had that for a a couple years like a pretty long time and I love my camera I really do like it's been really good over the years but the one thing that I've been dying for is a monitor for my videos so I can actually see myself because the screen on my camera doesn't flip around so I never have been able to see myself when recording my YouTube videos but now I can actually see myself and it's the greatest thing ever so the reason why I haven't picked up this monitor until recently is because when it came out it was really really in my opinion overpriced it was I believe $400 and for a monitor that is 5 inch display I really thought that was way way overpriced and so I really never got it so I ended up going on eBay and looking up to see if I can find this monitor for a cheaper price. So I ended up finding this monitor on eBay for $300, completely new, never been opened. If you're wondering who I bought this from, the seller's name is WHDL750. I'll put their eBay page down in the description. Yeah, I really don't trust anyone on eBay unless they have a 100% feedback or like close to like very very close to that this seller i i thought was very legit because they have i believe 100 percent feedback and they had like over 400 items for sale so i knew they were legit so i bit the bullet did the 300 dollars and finally ordered the monitor and it came in actually early and so thank you to the seller so they yeah, got the first pickup Sony CLM V55. The next thing I ordered was actually I had to order a battery for the monitor because the monitor doesn't come with a battery. That's not the seller's fault. Like Sony didn't sell it with a battery. So I had to order that and I had to order a battery charger. Also guys, I will leave links in the description to all these products that I mentioned in this video if you want to go check them out and purchase them for yourself. So the battery that I picked up for this monitor was the Sony MPFM 500H lithium ion rechargeable battery and this is the battery charger I got right here this is what it looks like it's by Sterling Tech STK I can actually see now that items are in focus so that's the charger it has a little outlet thing right there and yeah it's a basic charger for the battery and this was $14 and the battery was $43. I feel like Sony batteries are way over expensive, but yeah, that's the battery charger. Next up, we have a product that I'm really excited for. I actually haven't used it yet. I'm not using it in this video because I'm gonna be using it with a new product that's actually gonna be at the end of the video. But as you can see, this is the box. I got the Rode VideoMic Pro. I finally upgraded my microphone so I can improve the audio quality of my videos. Hopefully that's gonna focus. So some people might not notice but the Rode VideoMic Pro has been around a while but in 2015 they actually upgraded it. As you can see the, I don't know if you call it suspension, but these things uh, they changed the design of it more like the video mic go I believe it is this is a way better suspension system for the microphone because the old one on the old video mic pro had these elastic bands that would break eventually so I'm glad they upgraded it this is just a close-up on the microphone this is all the components the battery goes in here you have the controls on the back the power button and the increase and decrease for the sound quality here you have the little windshield for your microphone so it's help it helps for the windy conditions getting to the bottom of the microphone we have a little hot shoe that goes into the top of the camera that has a hot shoe mount and then also it has a little tripod thread right there and you have your wire with your 
3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Okay, so that's the next pickup and actually the next couple items I got for the Rode video mic. So let's get straight into that. So as I just showed you guys, there's a little um, tripod thread right there that you can mount on a tripod. But so I realized that that's actually not a standard tripod size, which is a quarter inch thread. It's actually a 3 8 inch thread, so it actually won't go on to a normal tripod. So I had to get these little adapter things. They come in this plastic bag. I set up two. That's the packaging right there. This is what it looks like. Comes in with a little microfiber cloth, and this is just what it looks like right here. It's actually a pretty heavy piece of metal. It's just a little adapter with a male side and the female side. The bigger part goes into the tripod thread like that. And so now I can just screw this on on a normal tripod. Next up, I actually have another accessory for the Rode VideoMic Pro, and it's actually a wire. This is the Rode SC4 cord right here. This is a little cord like this that plugs in to here, just like that. And actually what this does is now that you can plug this into your smartphone, so that is the main point of this because these video mics are meant st strictly for cameras, but if you wanted to record audio from your phone, you can get this cord and plug it into your phone. I have an iPhone. You can use either the Voice Memos app that comes on the iPhone or you can get the Rode Rec app, which is Rode's own audio recording app, and I might use that, but I'm probably going to use this on my new camera that's actually in that big box over there but yeah the Rode SC4 bam getting on to the next product which is actually on the camera as well it is a hot shoe adapter so the monitor that is on my camera is for a normal hot shoe mount but the Sony NEX6 doesn't have a full DSLR standard hot shoe mount so I had to get an adapter for it and this is the one you need. You got the Sony Handycam Cybershot adapter. Yes, this is the shoe adapter. It's the ADP-MAA adapter, which is what I use to use the monitor on my Sony NEX6, and this was just about $9. Getting into the next item, we actually have a mini tripod. I used to have a mini tripod, but the plastic snapped on it and I had to throw it out. So I got this new mini tripod by Manfrotto. That is the brand. This is the Manfrotto Pixie Evo 2 mini tripod in black. As you can see right here, it's all black. It's actually a little bigger than my mini tripod, but it has some really cool features that I like. So it opens up like this, like a standard tripod. It rests on the table like that. And it's also a ball head tripod, which means if you loosen this little knob, you put the camera on here and it just moves around like that. You can move it in any position. You can also move it down in a position like that or like a low angle thing or whatever you need really and another thing it has right here you can see it has this little spinning wheel so it's easier to get the camera onto the tripod you just put it here and you spin this instead of having to like spin the tripod under the camera so that's a really good feature another thing you see right here you got these little knobs on each leg and if you open it up you can extend each leg down to make the tripod even taller and i don't know if you can see it but it goes by even little notches not just short to long has even little notches if you need a very specific height so that's really good and then another feature it has right here as you can see we got this little switch that if you switch it like that you can put the tripod all the way on the low angle is i don't really know what it would be used for but it's basically just another custom height that you could do so i really really like that and that's basically all the features of this once again link will be in the description the manfrotto mini tripod now we actually have items that came in the mail today as you can see we got two very big boxes right here from amazon it can barely fit in frame we got these heavy boxes so let's just let's get straight into the smaller box so all these items are for the bundle for my new sony camera that's in the big box and it came with a bunch of little things because it was the same price for both just the camera and the camera bundle um it just evened out to be the same price so i ended up getting the bundle even though i don't need some of the things that are in here i got it anyway so let's just get into the smaller box right here i got my exacto knife on deck so opening it up the tape is open so Opening it up, not a whole lot in the smaller box. Got some 
packaging stuff and we got two items in here this these came in the bundle so just two items in here let's get into it i'll just say right now guys i did get the new sony a7r mark ii which is in the big box and it did come with a lot of accessories and one of those accessories was a 32 gigabyte sd memory card so yeah this is a sony brand memory card this is a 32 gigabyte, which is actually pretty good to come in the bundle, and it's 70 megabits per second. I would use this memory card on the new camera, but actually the Sony a7R Mark II needs a much faster memory card because it records 4K. So I'll actually be giving this to my sister because she, she is, she's a camera and she lost her memory card, so uh, good timing, I guess. But yeah, you could pick this up from Sony.com or Amazon.com, and this was just about $8. Next up in that small box, we actually have another box right here. As you can see, this says Wasabi Power. These are actually batteries, supposedly for the new camera, which I hope they actually work for the camera, because that means I'll have four batteries for my new camera, because the... Sony a7R Mark II comes with two batteries in the box just because their batteries don't last a whole long and there's two more batteries in here so if they actually work that's going to be great. Okay this is much better for it so opening it up we have both batteries right here and this is the charger that it comes with and this is also a cord it seems so throwing that to the side. So yeah, this is the charger for the actual batteries. It also looks like we have a, I believe, UK plug right here, but I won't be using that since I live in the States. And then over here, it looks like we have a car adapter, so you can just plug this into your car, and this little end goes into this charger on the bottom, like that. So you can just charge batteries on the go if you need to, if you're like on a, at a shoot or something. So that's really handy. I don't know if I'll be using it, but I'll probably just keep that in my car. Getting into the actual batteries, this is what they look like. Yeah, I've only watched one other review of these batteries, and I've heard that they're basically the same exact thing as the Sony batteries. They have a little more juice in them, but they're basically the same thing. So yeah, that's good to hear. And also guys, you can pick up those batteries for about 26 bucks, two of them, which is actually a pretty good deal considering one of the Sony batteries, I believe is $40, which is just insane. But let's finally get into this massive box. Okay, so here we go, back with the X-Acto knife. Opening this up, get this side. Really, really excited for what's in here, guys. Here we go, we got a bunch of packaging paper, actually. Let me put this on the floor, because this is really big. So, a lot of packaging paper. So it looks like we actually have a, another Amazon box inside the big one. This is what the box looks like. Got a bunch of stuff in here and you can see some other goodies in there But let's get straight into this one. Okay guys, so opening up this third box I'm pretty sure I know what this is because on the front of this it says Amazon basics Sorry guys, but my camera cut out so but I, I did open up the package and it was the Amazon backpack right here. Change of angles so you guys can get a better look at this. So yeah, this backpack came in the bundle with the camera. It is Amazon's very own brand backpack. As you can see on the zippers, it does say Amazon Basics right there with the logoing. So yeah, let's see what is in this bag. So it looks like you have a front pocket right here. And you can fit some, some decent sized stuff in there. My whole hand is in there. So opening up this pocket, this is another thin pocket, but it goes in pretty deep and actually probably fit like an iPad in here. Like SD cards and filters you could probably fit in here. And now let's open up the main pocket, which has all the cool housing. And so yeah, this is what it looks like. Really, really cool. It actually has some pockets on the inside right here. You can kind of see that. But you got a bottom pocket right here, which you can Fit some stuff in there. Got a pocket up here, same size, SD cards and whatnot. But here is the main part of the show. All of these little dividers are Velcro, I believe. So you can customize this to any figuration you need for like the size of your camera and how many lenses you have. And also on both sides of the bag, you have these little side pockets right here. They're decent size, you could probably fit a small phone there, good size for a pack of gum, you're on the go, and same thing on the other side. 
Also what these side straps can be used for, as I've seen, is you can like tie a tripod on the side of this, which would be really, really handy. And here's just look on the back straps. It's really, really tightened down. It actually has a center strap right there, which is really cool. And you just have a pretty sturdy handle on, on the top. So that's basically all for this bag. And if you get this on Amazon.com by itself, it is about $29. So let's get into the next item. Next up in the bundle, as you can see, we got a decent sized box right here. This is the tripod that it comes with, which is the same brand as the mini tripod I just showed you guys. It's by Manfrotto. So let's open this up. Ooh, so it looks like it comes in a little carrying case, which is really cool. The tripod I'm using right now doesn't have a carrying case. So it's like a little sling thing. You can, this is really small actually. You could fit this easily in any kind of suitcase or even if you have a really big backpack you can probably put it in there it just might stick out a little bit but if you have this camera bag you can just easily strap it on the side of it and it'll be all good it has this little ball kind of thing to tighten it and so taking out the tripod so here you guys go with the tripod it has a little ball head on the top just like the mini tripod opens up like so has three little knobs on the legs so you can make them longer let's see how long this actually gets that's actually a pretty good length for this size of a tripod it goes about that high if it's on the ground like that and also if you have this little top head right here you can increase the height like that i know this is not a very good angle to show you guys but it's actually a pretty decent sized tripod. So there you go, Manfrotto compact tripod. Link will be in the description. Okay guys, so we're finally getting to the last two items of this this crazy haul. I'm gonna set this one to the side. I know you, all you wanna see this, but I'm gonna get straight into this little guy right here. This is the SD card I'm actually gonna be using for this camera. This is the Lexar Professional 64 gigabyte, 150 megabits per second. SDXC UHS-2 4K SD card, pretty long name. That's all the specs on it. It is 150 megabits per second, which is a crazy readout. These do actually go up to 128 gigabytes, but I really don't need that much space. It, it is insane that they can go up to that, but I decided to get the 64 gigabyte, which is plenty, plenty, plenty enough space for me, but I'm glad I was able to get this. Let's open it up. So it comes in this little plastic container right here, which is if you open it up, here is the little guy, really, really small SD card. That's how it looks. So yeah, that's the SD card. Now let's get straight into the big boy. You guys don't even know, I'm so excited. I've been dreaming of this camera. It's insanely priced, but I finally was able to get this. Let's just waste no more time and unbox this thing. So you got your limited warranty, you wanna keep that. Got some extra stuff, got a little packet about some accessories and lenses you can get for your camera. Definitely will look at that. This is the Spanish manual and then this is the English manual right here. It's a little blown out, but you get the point. It's just the manual. I don't know if it's just cause it's been a while since this camera has been out and they released it with a smaller manual, but I've watched videos and it usually comes with this really, really thick manual with like 12 languages, but probably won't even look at it anyway. But let's get straight into this. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. Right here is the camera and you got some more goodies. So it does come with its own Sony wall charger for the batteries, hefty one. So this is what it looks like. Just normal battery charger that plugs into the wall. Then you also get this little adapter cord thing which you screw into the side of the camera and these holes are for feeding your holes through them so you just don't mess up the wires. I don't know if I'll actually be using this but it's pretty cool that they include it just for the option. Next up you have the A7R strap right here. Let me take a quick look at this. It's a pretty regular strap for your camera, really nothing special. Right under there is where they have the batteries and then also the wire for charging it with the USB. So it comes with a little USB to micro USB cord if you want to just plug this straight into the camera to charge the batteries, but I probably won't be using this. This is actually what I'll probably do is I'll keep one battery in the camera and charge it through here and then keep one out and charge it in this thing, which is a uh, pretty convenient that they actually include this for once. And this is the little power brick it comes with for the USB cord. And right here you have the little two batteries that it comes with. I'm not gonna open these just for the sake of the video, but they're just the batteries. They're 
the same things basically as the little wasabi guys I just showed you. So putting that all to the side, let's get straight into the star of the show. As you can see, we have the camera body. It actually has a lot, a lot more weight to it than I would have thought. It's a lot heavier than, than the camera I have right now. So opening it up, this is what it looks like. And this is a beauty of a camera. Actually not as big as I thought it would be. That's actually a pretty decent size, but it feels really, really solid. It's a lot more solid than I thought it would be. I've never seen this in person. You got a full metal body. As you can see, it has that orange ring. This is a full frame camera. I don't really want to like, tell you guys all the specs because there's a million videos on that on YouTube already. And then actually, I knew I was going to forget something to get for this camera. I forgot I, I need to get a screen protector for this because I didn't get one for my NEX camera and this little scratch up but I definitely want to get a screen protector for this. Here's some close-ups on this beautiful camera. This is, here's a look at the massive full frame sensor. You can see with the little reflection. Really, really nice sensor. There's a look at the top of it. You got the buttons and the hot shoe mount. Here's a look at the back of the camera. I already got some fingerprints on the screen. Definitely want to get a screen protector for that. And then you also have the viewfinder right there. So yeah, beast of a camera, Sony a7R Mark II. I can't wait to actually use this. So yeah, let's switch back to the normal angle. Okay guys, that concludes this haul. As you can tell, obviously, the star of the show was the a7R Mark II. Insanely expensive camera, but basically, I think, best on the market for this. If you go specs-wise, it's an amazing camera. And just the fact that you can use Canon and Nikon lenses natively to this is just insane. My dad has some, uh, he has Nikon lenses, so I really am waiting for that Metabones adapter to come out so I can actually use them because he has a big zoom lens. Can't wait to use this camera. If you're not already, definitely follow my social media, especially on Instagram. That's where I post the most photos on my personal and my sneaker Instagram. Follow both of them. I will definitely be taking a lot of photos with this new camera. And actually, I got this now because this February break, I'm going to Florida to visit my grandparents. I'll be definitely shooting a bunch of pictures with this. So definitely stay tuned on my social media, all of which will be down in the description. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Snups, Viscocam. You can follow them all. Links will be in the description. Definitely make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what your thoughts were on the video and if you own any of the products that I showed in this haul. And make sure to stay tuned for future videos. I got a sneaker reviews that I want to make and some discussion videos. Also guys comment below if you have any future video ideas for me. I'm always looking for inspiration for videos so definitely comment those below. And yeah guys that basically wraps up this haul. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for future videos and I'll see you in the next time guys. Sneak House 417 setting out. Peace.